to me reminds me of like there are times sometimes in the club right when you're really like smashed and really high where sometimes you lose something your keys your baggy your drink your wallet or something right and it's really embarrassing when it happens because you're the only person in, in the dance floor who is stressing and has their phone light on especially if you have, yeah, you're looking for your thing and you always see that person in the club oh my god man this person lost their thing and usually the person's got a really kind of sullen and pissed off look on their face because deep down they know it's their fault they were careless they weren't paying attention they were too high they were too drunk and they lost whatever they lost and you can't really get other people involved in it and try and make them help you and shit because you know at the end of the day it's your own fault so whenever i see djs especially well-established professional djs out there doing this whole i lost my usb please return it please things it kind of makes me laugh because essentially it's a real little it's a it's a kind of a little bit of a hint as to their kind of mind state and their conditioning or their kind of lack of flipping paying attention in the moment instead of actually paying attention and being aware of their surroundings they were too caught up in the fucking deed in the fucking jesus arms out wide poses maybe taking a couple of bumps under the flipping dj booth maybe doing too many kisses and hugs with vips behind the dj booth they weren't paying attention and they lost their thing and now they decide to go on social media and start crying about it and try and crowdsource uh, or in this case shame the person who took it into giving it back nah mate maybe pay attention to your shit and around you innit like it's not our responsibility to be giving it back once it's gone now it's gone it's gone so this is from mix mag patrick topin appeals for return of bag which went missing at the toronto gig it didn't get missing mate it got jacked and again imagine we are living in what somewhat of a recession um the cost of living has gone up around the world people are hurting people are crying and here you are popular world star dj with a really expensive bag with some really expensive things in it just leaving it around they're not paying attention what do you think is going to happen especially in a nightclub right i love nightclubs i love nightlife but let's not you know let's not lie to ourselves only degenerates are out after 9 p.m so the fact that you're in there not keeping your eyes on your things is definitely a you problem and not ours but it continues here it says patrick turpin is appealing for the return of a bag containing his laptop and items of sentimental value what do you have in it do you have pictures of his family like little framed pictures of his of his family childhood in his bag alongside some spare usbs and a couple of cdjs just in case after it went missing at a gig in toronto this weekend the trick label boss noticed his bag had disappeared after closing stage two of the toronto-based festival electric island on sunday may 21st taking social media he said as follows just finished electric island can't find my bag <laughs> if anyone finds it uh, please bring it back to the western harbour castle reception <laughs> bro your bag is gone man buy a new one like it just is what it is take the l we've it's all ha happens happened to all of us we've all had the same situation it says here, the sentimental value of the things in my bag and my laptop can't be replaced and it's worth more than anything else in that bag i won't judge how it was found i just really want everything back and will reward anyone that can help me if you want someone to give you a bag back, number one, make the reward very clear. You're saying sentimental value. How much is sentiment worth to you? Is it a tenner? Is it a couple of drinks? Is it a, is it a couple of baggies? Is it a, a free t-shirt? Like, what is it? Like, actually put a monetary value on it. And also, who's carrying sentimental things with them on tour? Well, no, why are they playing in clubs if they're a DJ? Because most likely... If you're Patrick Topin, he's one of our biggest DJs here in the UK, right? Super, you know, very successful, plays all around the world, booked and busy. Most likely you're assuming when he's playing in Toronto, he's probably got a hotel that he's staying in. Or probably maybe staying with, you know, maybe the, the flipping organizer of the rave. Maybe there's, you know, they're going to give you a couch to sleep on. But you've definitely got a roof that you're staying in, under, sorry. If that's the case, leave your stuff there and go and play the gig and then come back and get your stuff. Why are you carrying around all your possessions with you every gig that you go? That's a bit silly, to be fair. It's like going on holiday and carrying your passport everywhere that you go around. Maybe have another form of flipping idea around you. I just don't understand why you'd be carrying sentimental value things on your person, especially, especially in a nightclub, especially in a nightclub 
right? Where it's completely full of degenerates. Nothing good happens after 9 p.m. Everyone's fucking off their face. Everyone's drinking. Everyone's mingling, drinking, winging, whatever it may be, fingering each other. And here you are leaving your fucking bag around with your DJ name on it, looking all nice and shiny and shit. Um, pockets half opened, what, with gold bullion bricks inside, pictures of your grandmother and pictures of your kids and your pets and your partner all there hanging out and maybe a couple wads of cash from some fucking cash in hand DJ job that you did in Bogota. It's absolutely ridiculous. And then to come out and try and have people crowdsource and shame whoever took it to give it back to you after you didn't pay attention is ridiculous. It kind of reminds me, like I said, of the person in a club who loses something and then because they lost it, they're trying to get people around them to come find it for you. No, no, no. Don't tap me. Don't ask me for help. You lost your thing. Go and find it. And this is coming from somebody like myself who's lost many of things. I used to be a very serial loser of things. Keys, phones, whatever. You lose them all the time. So the fact that I'm saying this, like suck it up, you know, you lost it, buy a new one. That says everything you need to know. But I just love the fact that it's sentimental things. I, I, like, I just can't, I'm trying to figure out what he might have had in it that was sentimental. Maybe like an engagement ring I can think of. Again, pictures of the family. I just couldn't imagine carrying around like an album, you know, a, a, an actual album full of pictures of me from my childhood and shit or family shit like just hanging around with you on, as you're going from gig to gig what reading checking it over as you're flipping in the airport and stuff that's super bizarre if you do have it leave it in the hotel room don't take it around with you as you're going out somewhere it doesn't make any sense in the slightest but again this is proof that djs can't be trusted djs can't be trusted to bring a working usb stick right to a flipping festival or to a club event so much so that you got DJs here flipping, asking people or asking festivals, right, to um, watch him record it, to have a spare CDJ in a green room for them to double check their fucking USB sticks. But then the same DJs also can't do the bare minimum and keep a fucking eye on their flipping gear and their flipping bag and shit. The same people, they want you to say, oh yeah, the CDJ in the green room makes a lot of sense. Come on, bro. Come on. So, you know, Patrick Turpin, I like the guy. He's got some great productions. He's a pretty decent DJ also. It's not, you know, really my sound, but I do kind of appreciate what he's done and stuff and how he's grown over the years, especially I feel like since the pandemic, he's completely blown up over time. He's kind of gone, gone straight to the fucking moon. Great, amazing, but come on, bro. You've got enough P. Like, you can replace some of those things, even if it is sentimental value and it is a learning lesson. So, you have to take that L on the chin and just keep it moving, brother. You have to take that L on the chin and just keep it moving, brother. But hey, you know, what do I know? 